Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Arts Fire 4, Kaiserreich. Uh, it's a socialist United States. Let's continue on for the last time off. So, we're invading Algeria. Well, we, I mean, we're like, we're, we're trying to invade Algeria. We have two more spies coming in. We're up against Germany right now. Do we need to do more against the French Republic? I mean, probably not, right? Like, we have a naval invasion that we're down here as well. We're gonna activate that. Have you go immediately. More blue army units over here. We assign 13. But most of you are actually over here. So maybe that, maybe that doesn't make any sense right now. Yeah, just give it like one second before we figure this stuff out. Okay, hold position. Don't be attacking. Because we do have a, uh, a naval base. And we're trying to build here. It got halfway built. So that's not saying too much. I mean, we are on last stand. 65. Don't be attacking. This whole position for now. Stone Mountain in Georgia. On the face of Stone Mountain, deep in the state of Georgia, lies a long stalled garment supported project to carve base reliefs to honor the Confederate side in the last of the war. The site has been a hotbed of neo Confederate activity, and history has included hosting the site of the rebirth of the Ku Klux Klan. Many wish to remove such a blight from the land of the New America, especially as other monuments of the Confederacy are torn down. However, people are divided with regards to the, specific, the specifics of the incomplete project that has run out of funding. It seems, uh, it seems highly public, high, it's seen highly public uh, infighting by the in 1920s. Some believe that limited work done should be destroyed and the mountain allowed to heal at the best it can. This is since the face of Robert E. Lee has already been blasted off in 1928. Robert Ford, in a cynical turn, wishes to continue the project. Okay, I, 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 my, my brain melted. Anyways destroy it we get stability or you know just give me the one percent stability like i i just woke up i apologize for uh my reading comprehension being basically in the goddamn toilet we can decipher we don't need to worry about this we, we can break human ciphers but that doesn't do anything for us All of you have 13 on this line. Does that include you? It does. Let's send you down south. Don't need you right now. This is still being built and be, it'll be done on August 21st. Which I know it's not really anytime soon. But... I mean, it's like three weeks. We, we, we can deal with three weeks. You're, you're, you know what? Okay, actually, I'm going to have you last stand another time, just with our best defense general. And you're just going to stay here and live. Like, you're going to die no matter what. Like, I apologize for that, but... The creation... You know what? Sure, why not? You got actually arrested in the French Republic. So can I just immediately go and yeah, capture a rescued operative. We'll send you in here. Commencement ready. Prepare. You can go for that. Where are these guys? They're by the Azores right now, so they are they are close, which is nice. I don't think you guys would get killed off. I think you should be. Decently defended, I think. But it, it'll it'll be close. It's revolution doesn't really matter because we're never not going to be at war. I think for the rest of this campaign, not settles. You know, let's go for a good syndicalist soldier. Are you? You're not neutral though. I still don't know what the Spanish Republic's going to do in the war. But we will want to intervene sooner rather than later. Who's in the Reich's back? Ireland. We also with the international, or with the Reich Pact. The Entente. Oh my god, my brain is just fucking mush. You should be part of this naval invasion. So please get there a little bit faster. And once you land, you should be able to uh, go. Proud to purchase the Daily Worker of Reactionaries. After much investigation to editors of the Daily Worker, President Browder has made a call for an immediate removal. Uh, citing numerous examples of subtextual betrayals in the newspaper, including ghost written opinion pieces melding reactionary ideas. 
Rather, it has come to Congress with a list of candidates who ensure the intellectual sanctity of the daily worker. This list includes university professors and metropolitan sophisticates, all pioneers of social ramifications of planned economy. All were approved, and thus the mind of America is once again safe from pollution. Hey, it's political power. I mean, it's not much, but I guess it gives us a little bit more party popularity as well, which... Also, I mean, it doesn't do much, but it, it's still nice to have. Like, I'll still take it. Be sort of slot available. What? A, okay, we're 1940 right now. We could go for like an armor tech. You know, I think it's time to go for the 1941 industry techs here as well. Have you guys continued the last stand? Now that you've all landed, I want you to immediately set sail for, I guess, West Africa. Some of in Africa. Just this area over here. Which will probably distract French Republic troops. Maybe they'll send the units down south. We can maybe do like another naval invasion into Algeria itself. Which I think would be uh, would be quite nice. Polonia's in the Reich's Pact. Denmark's in the Reich's Pact. Sweden's in the Reich's Pact. You're in the Entente. And you're both in the Reich's Pact as well. Yes, you are. Germany's Asia is taking over Burma. Okay. I mean, it's looking fine to me. 14 units. We'll capture these three cities. It's not going to be like a game changer, even though I think the car. It's, it's about 15. You're an occupied state. Your core, though. So it's, it's 13 points. While not a ton, definitely it's. No, it's, it's probably like Tunisia is probably worth like 15. That's worth 20, but... Actually, it's not even a core. It's actually an occupied state. Cool. So this actually does a little bit more for us than that. So after this, you guys will be marching your way through Africa here. Just standard battle plan. Nothing too, too complex. can't believe Portugal is not capitulated, but... I guess that isn't like a major surprise. It's actually pushing us back a little bit. The Entente's throwing a lot of units into Portugal. Like, way more than I think is reasonable. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. The four units here. I want to do another naval invasion. I mean, the answer is probably yes. Like, almost, it's almost certainly yes. And then I guess after that, Blue Army will really just focus, I guess, on killing Middle Africa. And a few two divisions down there. And they should be okay. Again, we're just hoping that France will just send units down south, at least a little bit. Can you please stop attacking my units, though? That would that would be nice. Okay, Blue Army, I'm going to set you for another naval invasion. You're going to come near Algeria. You know what? I'm even going to throw the entirety of Blue Army down there for right now. I have an extra spy. Um, we'll recruit you, Lucy Bell. Is it Lucy Bell? Um. Oh, what, what's well, who is she's um. She's from I Love Lucy, right? I believe so, if I'm not mistaken. 139 ships here, which is quite nice. Improved engine. Like if we can just get um this to finish, like that that would be nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, we have run into a little bit of resistance down south. But nothing too too crazy. It's it, it's more more than reasonable. We we can deal with that. They actually, they actually kicked us out. Actually, you know, good on you, good on you. Can I just push my way to Porto though? As well as bringing my navy. But I'll set you to hold. Yeah, come on the Porto, please. We have air superiority, yes we do. Actually, but not by much. Fly you all over here. This costs five points each. Okay, so we have more than enough to kind of just maintain this for basically forever, I think. You guys, just do whatever you can do. We're currently giving them in about negative 40%, which is pretty good. But they do have a lot of entrenchment, which is sad. I have low supplies, though. Anything? I mean, not really, because Portugal doesn't really have a lot of supply hubs. 
I think there are other supply ups in port, though. Oh, yeah, we also need to destroy terrorist. There we go. You guys are still alive. Your port, I mean, it's getting closer to being finished, but... I mean, it's still going to take a while. Nine days. He was a guerrilla fighter. You know what? Why not? I'll take it. This ship, this fleet doesn't need to be down here anymore, so make your way up here. I'm going to send these three ships near Algeria. And let's see if maybe we can invade just a little bit faster. I just want to know how long this has. It's, it looks like it's about 80% done. There's actually nobody in Algeria. We actually want to move in as quickly as we can. Right now it's set to 11 days, which I believe is... I think three divisions should be good enough. Also, these units are really, really powerful. 49%? Okay, we, we can deal with that. There you go. They will invade their way into Algeria because it looks like the French Republic don't have any units over there. I think they have to send too many units either to India or to, like, Portugal. I want more industry techs. Thank you. Unifications. One of the changes that has come with the revolution is the transformation of vacationing. The workers of America really got to enjoy the luxuries that they created, stolen as they were by capitalists, even though they rightfully belong to the people. How many of the struggling masses got to enjoy picnics or visits to national parks when they had to work so many hours just to survive and feed their children? No longer will this be the case. Various local units across the country, regardless of which federation they belong to, have begun to take over and manage various cultural centers as they, or as well as help sponsor vacations. This is supported by the government at, at both the local and national level as a way to boost productivity and encourage comradeship. We claim wise 80. Dockyard, dockyard, civilian factory, civilian factory. So it's just a political power to factory conversion. You know, that's not, that's not bad. That, actually, that's pretty good. We have our three units on their way. They should provide at least a little bit of naval support. Not a ton, but again, at least a little bit. You guys are doing... Are you a core? No. Okay, fantastic. And then once Blue Army lands in Algeria, we'll be able to send these units through. Actually, what I can do is delete... Are you still going to go there? Even I accidentally delete naval evasion? Looks like you will. I'm going to send you to Toulon. Okay, so they're going to go on their way to Toulon. But then they will just make a stop in Algeria once they actually get close to the port. I'm just missing 10 rubber. Insulindia, give me some more, please. Thank you. Yeah, they're still going to carry out their orders, which is... And like while they're sailing, I mean they're not technically sailing. They're they have they're in like oil powered ships. They will then immediately instead go to this port. One, two, three. Liberia joined the war against the French Republic. Sure, why not, Liberia? It looks like you have a claim to these two states. You know what? I will give them to you. Why not? You want to help me out? I actually, I, gr I actually greatly appreciate it. You're not going to join the Reich's Pact, right? I don't, I don't think so. Like, I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. And actually, I think these two units might end up surviving the entire war. Which I'm very, very surprised by, but I think it's going to happen. U.S. Trilogy of John Despasos. The montage, moderate writing, and social spirit come together in John Paul's Paso's new book, USA. The story itself is an ex uh, examination of the 12 Americans that lived through the Depression and Revolution. Paso's writing combines snippets of newspapers, propaganda, and conversations he recalls on the streets during a terrifying month for liberation. Such an unorthodox and creative writing is usually praised by the American Writers' Congress, but they remain silent. This is due to the book's recognition of illegal killings that took place throughout America during the Civil War by our soldiers. Don Passos has defended this inclusion, saying that the truth in art, as he shows it, must still exist even if it is bleak. To nominal leadership of the writing Congress, Ernest Hemingway, this book amounts to treason and sedation against socialist government. However, his, his decision to censor the book and detain the Poyos was overruled by the Congress. You know what? I'm going to take a 1%. We'll, we'll calm Hemingway down. 
And then I guess it's these guys. Again, you you should survive long enough. Anti-aircraft upgrades. You know we can take an anti-aircraft upgrade. You only have seven right now in total, but are we even building them? We're not. I do want to get them started though. So, you know, let's go like three factories. We'll put that above naval bombers for the time being. We should have more ships ready to deploy. Once we're actually in the international, we will, you know, send all of our air forces into Germany, which we should. I mean, how many planes do they have? 1.9 to 5,000. We're at 2.1. France has about two. Britain actually has almost like six. Could have 6,000 aircraft, which is an impressive number, I would say. Yeah, Joe, survive. Survive as long as you can, please. Liberia has not made any actual progress in the fighting, which is a little sad for them, but... I believe in them. Okay, the SRI is capitulated, which kind of sucks, but it, it's really not that big of a deal. Once you're opened up, these two units can go to another front. And we want you moving your way into Spain. Because assuming Spain does not do Spanish isolation, which I honestly don't think they will... How many units are here? 16. Congratulations, you five are being deployed into uh, Pink Army. You know, I think Pink Army is... Yeah, it's a Canadian army, primarily. But once the French Republic dies, if I'm not mistaken, all of these... Um... I'm going to send you guys into Pink Army now. You know, you've done fantastic work. You know, I can't deny that. Uh, you were these units. Like, you've, you've done really, really, really well for yourself. You managed to survive, which is more than I was ever asking you to do. American aid, which is... May now send advisors to the country at war with their enemies. Yeah, that sounds good. Get American aid next. By the way, can we actually... Store order. Store order. So a lot of uh, a lot of the country is going to be core of ours, which is nice. And the more the more cores, the better. Obviously, it's just less uh, less people trying to bomb our factories. We actually just get more factories, more recruit population. A lot of a lot of good stuff there, which I am happy to have. By the way, how is France? We're at twenty five percent. They capitulated apparently at zero. Why did why is that the case? Then surrender level plus 15%. Okay, so we might need to actually kill kill France. Which is a little bit annoying, but you know, it's it's fine. It's it's fine. You know, Liberia, we can have uh you know friendly relations. We have an extra heavy tank. Then that in the Brown Army. And again, Brown Army, they're going to be deployed. Who are you guys? Again, it, it has been a while because I was uh, vacation the, la the last few days. So it's been a while since I actually did this campaign properly. Brandon, do I have military access through you? Again, I'm not going to join the International right now. And if we can actually, if we can move units to, if we can move units to Europe prior to us being at war with Germany, I think that would be nice. I mean, I think you are mostly not core. What about Chad? Did they ever rebel? Unfortunately not. Cut these guys in half. Got 12 and 12. Honestly, I think I want like 18 and 12. You're worth three. Tunis is not a core state of yours. Yeah, but the French Republic's dead. Indian of India should end up capit uh, capitulating, at which point we'll just give all the... I mean, I was thinking we could just give all the territory to the Bahari commune, which would make sense. How many units do you guys have? I don't know, do we give it all to the Bahari commune, or do we take it for ourselves? 
I actually don't know. How many troops of India did the Baharic Commune kill? That's Australia. We've actually, we've personally have actually killed more units of, of the Dominion of India than the Bahardia Commune. So you know what? Maybe, maybe me and, uh, maybe I'll take like modern day Pakistan and I will give, and I'll give the Bahardia Commune the rest of India. We also didn't get this 1940 research deck. Well, better late than never. Let's get that going. We don't need units on the Liberian front. I can tell you that right now. Then these units will all be able to move their way up to Europe afterwards. So too much hassle. And you're not core. You are core. Do we have any uh, air support over here? We actually don't. The fighters can stay here. I want you all moving here to defend. Or not defend, but give uh, air coverage. Stanley Butler has passed away. A day of national mourning, they called amongst the Union of Social American States as news of the passing of former Field Marshal Smedley Butler was announced by the government of Chicago. War Hero was found dead in his office this morning, having spent the past few weeks coordinating the American war effort. Taking very few breaks and only permitting those in the upper echelons of military command to visit him. The coroner report of the autopsy would eventually reveal that he had died from gastrointestinal complications, compounded by excessive overworking. Having announced his plans for retirement once the current conflicts of our nation is entangled has finally come to an end. Butler oversaw important reforms and overhauls to the people's vanguard, transforming it into a well-organized fighting force that ultimately saw the emancipation of the working class across all continental the United States. His sudden death has rocked the nation to its core, with many in the army still believing his work in guiding to be unfinished. At Capitol Hill, a few, uh, full state funeral is given in commemoration of him, including military honors. Procession led by fellow Marines who had fought alongside him for many years. His coffin was laid uh, in the state of the Capitol Rotunda for three days, or being buried in Arlington National Cemetery. So our really good field marshal is dead. I mean, we have we have uh, George Ham Cannon. He's, he's fine. You know, he's a three 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 five. Oh, so he cannot support seven divisions. That okay? That is that is an issue. Uh, Treasure feet is fine. I guess I'll throw you under a different field marshal for now, which we don't actually have. I can promote you. Unable to promote. You're one of our good generals. You know what? If I promote you, he still he loses like one per stat, but he's still way better than you. And he's got like way more. So we're just gonna make you field marshal of the entire army. It's gonna take 30 days for that to uh, resolve itself. We'll assign you to this post and then we'll get a cannon over here. I think that seems more than reasonable. How is the Portuguese front looking? They're, they're fine. They're, they, they should be okay. Why are you going down here? Oh, they were just assisting this attack. Okay, that's fine. Uh, honestly, Blue Army, there is no reason for you to be attacking anymore. You've taken, as far as I know, every core territory down here. You shouldn't need to do anything more than that. I know Tunis isn't a core, but you still do want to take it. I think once Iran falls, that might be the end of the French Republic. They're at 33%. Like it, it just seems right. We might actually need to send Tunis to uh, the Commune of France earlier than I was expecting, to be honest. Can we join... Going to international, we can do it right now. But again, I would, I would just like to kill off. I, I would just like to kill off the Entente first. I don't really have any. I guess I have Brown Army. Are they? Where are they? They're already in Europe. The presidential election of 1940 is here with mu much fanfare. As expected, Russell or Earl Russell Browder is in the lead. The government has promised a fair and open election. Is anyone's guess who will win the, after the debates and the campaigning is done? Who will emerge victorious in 1940? Okay, well, we'll win the election. 
I mean, by far, we were the most popular party, so I guess it's not a huge surprise. What can I do with you? The blue army down the south. We need to send units to France, though. For sure, for sure. You know what? I actually, yeah, let's join the international now. We'll move units basically, let, let's say, right here. Ooh, I'm practicing. What makes the most amount of sense for you to be at? I'm thinking. Probably, like, right here. The brown army, I'm going to reposition you to be on this front, and you're just going to push your way towards Calais. Yes, you make your way down south. Now, I'm not going to join the war yet, because... Yeah, we're not actually at war, so we can reposition ourselves at least in France first. In, in safety. Okay, they did kill one of my blue army units, which is a little annoying. We're not going to join the war immediately. I don't think it makes sense for us. I mean, the Legion of Italy might peace out independently. You know what? I'm going to deploy these units. What are we missing? Are we missing guns? 17,000? We're going to not build any more infantry for right now. I'm going to assign all of you to blue. Get your way over there as soon as you possibly can. Deploy... What's wrong with the tanks? What are they missing? They're missing heavy tanks, huh? You know what? Don't even deploy these guys. Don't, don't deploy them yet. Ron is going to fall in a second. Wait, a Bona. That gets you down to... Okay, France... Or not France, but Japan's basically on our side now. Rakshu on the Cairo pack, not a big deal. I need you all going up here. This line doesn't make any sense for us. Well, it's like a civil uh, proposition during the revolution that the abol uh, that of abolishing segregation has run into numerous potholes, starting with the debate over whether union membership fees were inherently discriminatory towards black workers. Evidence on both sides appear inconclusive, and most of the unions that uh, were rejected from the Constitutional Convention proposed in favor of maximum union uh, membership fee. These protesters claim that discrimination against uh, that to be discriminated against based on their race by openly anti-racist IWW. Then uh, came the Union congressmen from the newly liberated states who were protesting that forcing segregation is a violation of the Union rights to collective bargaining. Ultimately, the IWW has uh, have preserved in Congress and public elections new congressmen and protesters are reactionaries. Okay, take a civility. Okay, Brown Army is now arriving in France. And after this, like, we are going to have, like, a, a bunch of really good armies ready to go right into the front. You will be in Bona in 11 hours. We will be there in two hours. We'll be there first. I think that's all of France. They're all 1%. Are you actually... Is that Malta? No. I mean, it's one of their provinces, I think, are still technically poor. Colony state. Where would it be? Wait, what, what does France still own? Oh, is it Corsica? It is Corsica. Absolutely Corsica. Okay, there we go. Thank God. <laughs> that, that, that wouldn't need to have happened. Okay, but now... Who actually is going to capitulate from this? Apparently not. Wait, just the French Republic? Really? Of course I'm going to take all states. I Actually, no. I guess I didn't do everything in the war. I did see that Liberia. They did take Sierra Leone. So they can have Sierra Leone. I'm going to take everything else. But who am I still at war with? Still war with Portugal. Still war with Norway. Sardinia. Many of India apparently just does its own thing. And then you are now just at peace. Okay, but I would say that now with the Entente defeated, it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Tune in next time and we can bring the war to Germany. But for now, thanks very much for watching. I say, Anthony, if you enjoyed, me a thumbs up. Now, do it, close thumbs down. If you want to subscribe and goodbye.